What are we doing anyway? Uh, I don't know. It's just update. Do you have stuff to update about? Update. Okay. This is our official fifth update. We are Morphite. Uh, my name is Mark. I'm Sam. And yeah, this is our fifth update. It's basically what's been going on. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people have similar story right now. I mean, we, we can we can do some more work because we're inside. We're just kind of hanging out. All, all of us are still healthy, by the way. None of us are having any problems there. But uh, in some areas, we're able to get more stuff done. Some able, areas, we're able to get kind of less stuff done. I am still working on the Sonovox, which, uh, update on that for now. Hmm. Let me see here. I'm exploring different possibilities, but I am still 3D printing stuff and finally getting around to getting it to work. I've had to buy a few modifications and things that, that just kind of help out and make it a lot easier, take out some of the guesswork or some of the calculation. And uh, as you can see, I'm starting to make some headway. Except as you can also probably see, there's a lot of looping and things like that going on. It's not perfect. Um, and what is that piece there? This is just what's going to be the button. It's just, it's actually huge. This is one of the ones I was just using for testing. But it's going to be the button that pretty much makes contact with your throat um, for the latest design that I'm doing. And that's kind of where I'm at with that. 3D printers kind of back up and running. I got a new glass bed for it and some other modification stuff like I, I still got to buy an auto bed leveling sensor and things like that that'll just like I said it'll take the I don't have to re-level the bed so much and there's other little engineering issues basically to make it easier on me to have more consistent prints and whatnot mm. to make it easier to print things the other thing about all that about the Sonovox specifically is that I will be looking into other materials as well um, for potentially making it because we would like to make everything in-house as much as possible we would like to um, and plus it, it costs extra money the cost the, the cost of the unit in the end each one will go up significantly if we have to order uh, things like springs and magnets etc so i'm looking into 3d printed springs as an option potentially and then also uh, maybe making other things let me see here uh the that button part i could potentially make out of something else wood or something lightweight a light balsa wood we were talking about might work. The original plans involved, uh, I guess, the original patent. I, I, I read it really carefully uh, a, couple, a few times, actually. But Gilbert Wright, in the original patent, had talked about possibly doing cork because cork is very, very porous and very lightweight and apparently makes good transmission, in his opinion, back then, to your throat in this application. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, that's about where we're at with the Sonovox right now. And we're ramping up to... The Kickstarter, we are still talk, tossing around that idea a little bit, talking about things, obviously, with the current unpleasantness. Um, happy coronavirus, everyone. <laughs> but there's, it's, we're still not sure. It's kind of up in the air what's going to happen with that, if we're really going to go ahead and do it, or if it'd be better to wait. We're still talking about it. Plus, we're still waiting to see how things turn out right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure as of the time of this video, there's, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of different information going around that has gone back and forth, seems to, you know, go one way or the other and conflicts but anyway it's about where we're at with all that for now and with the sonovox we're looking to as much as possible or if if possible everything we want to do it at made in the usa is that right yes yes we want to really really enforce that yeah so that's uh, that idea that's uh especially through this thing um we've been talking a lot about uh, a lot of those things and wanting to make sure that our products are made in the u.s and uh, so that's something we've we're wanting to do as we're researching different materials and sourcing different things and all of that. So that's been, uh, that's been important through that process. Uh, as far as animation goes, I'm still working on the uh, fake, deep fake, for lack of a better term, way of doing the facial animation. I'm still working on that. It's a work in progress, testing it, trying different things out, going back and forth. Uh, so I don't have anything to show as of yet with that, but hopefully soon I'll have maybe a test piece of footage I can put up to kind of see what it looks like. Uh, with other projects we're, we got working on, I'm working on the Hidden History podcast. We've got the first episode of that coming out hopefully by the end of the month. And uh, so stay tuned for that. That'll be a series, I believe I talked about it last update, but that'll be a series that'll be based on a lot of different topics that I was interested in, things that you don't learn in history class. And I wanted to go through and for my own, for myself, as well as for the audience, I wanted to get the actual facts, the actual, um, what we actually know about these things, as opposed to all the conspiracy theories and the conjecture and everyone's opinions and uh, I'll just say the first episode is about Atlantis, and since starting my research, I've learned that I knew absolutely nothing about what's actually known about Atlantis, and 
I'm guessing many of you don't either. And when you read the original uh, records of Atlantis, uh, it's a lot different than what people think it was. So we'll be going through that and uh, talking about that and uh, hopefully doing that throughout the rest of the series as well on a lot of different interesting topics. Well, you may notice our audio sounds different on this episode. We I was actually, that, yeah. yeah, we just got a recorder. I don't know if you want to show it. Just so Here, hand me that. See what it looks like. Really very handy. carefully. Uh, this little thing, this little gadget, it's very heavy for its size, but it's actually wonderfully constructed and it works quite well uh, so far. Hopefully, you can tell by the quality of the audio on this. We uh, we redid some tests, ran some tests with it beforehand, and it's got a long battery life. Plus, it's uh, helping our audio quality quite a lot. Mm -hmm. It picks up stuff a lot better. It's more sensitive. And we got that uh, both to improve the audio quality, but also the convenience and the things we can do with it. For yeah. example, right now, since we were recording everything on the computer directly, we would have to be within distance of any wires or even a receiver if you were doing wireless. With that, you could do a lot of different on-the-spot uh, shots where you're actually doing things outside or from farther away, and you don't have to worry about the wires because everything's getting recorded in that right in your pocket. So we'll uh, hopefully be testing that out and using that in different things from now on. But uh, yeah, that's one of the few pieces of equipment we've bought recently. Yeah. In the future, we're probably going to look for a, a nicer one. That that one right there, it works really well. It's a quality product. got great reviews on Amazon. We just got it off of Amazon, and I, I, was, I looked around forever on those because they literally go anywhere in price from about 20 bucks mm -hmm. on the cheap, cheap end all the way up to about, I think, 800 bucks. The 800 buck one is like twice, twice the size of the one we got, maybe a little bit bigger, but it's essentially the same thing. It's just got a lot more features. It can do multiple lines in and uh, et cetera, different things like that. But they're really, really nice and really convenient to have, and it oh, should help us in the future to make everything a lot better. Um, but we will be looking to probably get a nicer one down the road here that we can use for uh, not just for speaking, but also good quality for music. Mm -hmm. We are looking into music right now as well. Uh, purchase we want to make here coming up at something at some point is an Ely. Um, Sam would be able to, I mean, right now I, I play guitar, Dan plays the keyboard, and we can pretty much, we could sit around and jam and start making music together and everything and making, you know, just doing things for fun and getting some of that going. Um, for Sam, he plays trumpet, and it would be a lot easier. He's uh, one is, I mean, he hasn't practiced a ton recently, so you'd have to get back in shape, I'm sure, your lip and all that. But on top of that, more consistently, he would be able to use an electronic wind instrument to sound like exactly like a trumpet, and it would be a lot easier for him. So if we get that, that would be the last thing we would need pretty much to start trying to make music and whatnot. And the main thing with that is uh, it is, it is e you know, a little easier in some ways because you don't have to train your lip embouchure and all that. But the main reason that I'm attracted to it is because of the versatility where I could then immediately play a saxophone, play a clarinet, play a trumpet, play anything that you want to run through it, play a synthesizer sound. And uh, especially with the Sonovox and other things we're looking into for some interesting vocal effects and things like that, we're wanting to do some experimentation. So that'll be something that'll really open up some possibilities uh, here in the near future. Um, one other thing I wanted to let it, or well, not really wanted to let everyone know, but we are making sort of slow progress now, or we've, we're still making good progress, but it's, good, it's kind of shifting a little bit right now, especially during these times with you know coronavirus and other things going on. Uh, we are hit a little bit at this moment trying to make up, you know, regular bills and all those things. And there's not much work in the painting industry right now for, well, at least not for us, but I'm sure it's that way for a lot of people. Hopefully this uh, quarantine stuff ends soon and they have, uh, you know, we see some good progress on that front, but until it does, we're kind of find ourselves with not a whole lot to do to that end. Dan and Sam have both gotten full-time jobs now working for, for a little bit, and they're just going to try and make up some money. So it's going to be me doing a lot of the editing and stuff coming up here right now. Just wanted to let you guys know that because that's where um, it may reflect a little bit. Hopefully I'm, I'm up to Dan's standards on that. Yeah, and uh, that's going to be good too. There's a lot of that where since we're doing everything ourselves, it's all bootstrapped. Uh, we're able to tie all wear different hats, and we've all been d different parts of the process from recording to editing to setting up cameras, lights, and all that kind of thing. 
uh, we do want to continue expanding as we've mentioned before and as you can see we try to make at least something better every time if you have any suggestions if you see anything uh, that you're thinking hey you know these guys missed this or they forgot hey there's this really easy thing they could be doing to make their videos better or something like that let us know uh, we're always interested to learn and to try new things uh, we do want to keep making stuff we're going to continue working on the products we're going to continue working on the uh, videos the content we put out but uh, as you mentioned earlier we may see a little bit of a, um, a difference in our schedule for the year that we planned out at the beginning of the year because in january none of us were aware that this whole thing is going to go down and uh, it's affected the economy which has affected us it's affected everybody and because of that we may end up having to shift the kickstarter around we haven't decided that yet but uh, that's that's kind of what we're thinking about right now. All right. Well, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, once again, I'm Mark. I'm Sam. And uh, please, if you like the video, please like the video. Subscribe if you want to see more of our content. We've got stuff coming out. We have at least one to two videos coming out every week right now. So we're going to continue doing that uh, during this time. And uh, it may be something a little different. We're trying different things. But uh, we'll always keep you updated with these updates every month where you know kind of what we're working on and what we, you can expect for the future. And uh, if you'd like to support us financially, if you can toss us three bucks a month or five bucks a month on our uh, Subscribestar account, it's subscribestar.com slash morefight. The link will be in the description. And uh, you can also check out our social stuff down there as well. And uh, let us know. Keep in touch. See what you Tell us what you like, what you want to see more of, and uh, anything we could do differently. Thanks.